Hello everyone! Today we're playing Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, uh, a game on Xbox Live Indie Games about the, uh, about the settling of the American West. It's documentary style, you see. Let's go adventure. Okay, so we can choose our party. From random choices, a party of three, uh, three explorers. Let's go with Richard, Richard, and Anne. All right, we could choose a wagon, but most oh, most of these are blocked off. However, I do have unlocked that one previously. These others have not been. So for right now, we'll just go with the standard wagon. All right, we will need to get some food for this journey. So we came across some deer and some turkeys, which we want to kill for their skins, but we want to avoid the skunks. They will do damage. You can see each of our uh, explorers, our settlers, have... Oh, I just called in uh, an old-style airstrike, just like in the old days of the settling of the West. I also have an old-style rocket launcher to fight these bandits with. It's very accurate to the time period. And of course, the old explorers did have to deal with bandits all the time. We can't take the bandit skins, but we can kill their horses to get theirs. Some of the bandits are better armed than others, though. You can see each of our explorers has four hearts, and we can lose them very quickly. I got a homing gun. So, yeah. All right, stock up on some more supplies. Uh oh, I have to fight off this bear to keep our berries. Hold on, get that. Yep. Call in the airstrike. Yeah, there we go. And that took out all the squirrels. All right, we reached a river, so we have to figure out how to get past it. Well, of course we're gonna jump. Great. Oh, no, that's not great. These were the kinds of problems that the settlers had to deal with. Hmm. And I can't shoot behind me in the wagon, so... Alright, great. We made it to the, to the second stage of our journey. We stock up on some buffalo. However, the, the buffalo are dangerous. They can hurt us, so we don't want to touch them. Except to collect their skins, of course. Uh, I would like to get that first aid, but I can't reach it. Too many buffalo. Yeah, I guess they would be angry, considering how many we've killed at this point. Mm. Richard only has one heart left, so... Oh, I wanted to get to that gun before that section ended. Uh, let's see. He's gonna exchange for skins. Let's see. Uh, I really should go for health. Yeah. I mean, that might be the boring option, but I am close to death here. Oh. I'm not sure what exactly would burn on the prairie. What? Oh no! That makes them even angrier! Hmm. Woman in a red dress. What? Well, of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? And Anne's all by herself. The Richards are back at the wet back at the wagon. Yep. Just that's how it went. Uh, that's the end of the trial. So 
Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. It's uh, it's actually a pretty fun game, pretty en entertaining game. I probably will end up buying this. Uh, let's just see what that other wagon was that I had unlocked before. You, you, you notice how this game goes. Uh, basically, it is... Let's see. Here we go. Pretty fast. Buffalo-powered spaceship. Oh no, one of my guys got pneumonia already. But you notice how the game goes, it's basically a sequence of very short, almost minigame segments that by themselves would not... I got a flamethrower, of course. Got By themselves, they would not be enough to hold up a game. But it, the game kind of takes, uh, I would say, a cue from maybe WarioWare in the idea of having these very fast segments. Nothing lasts long at all, and even though the, the gameplay mechanics of each section are very simple, the fact that they're so fast and the sort of the window dressing around them, the whole uh, the storyline that we're getting, uh, makes things more entertaining than if you just had these little sections by, uh, by themselves. Yeah, that'll do it. Still not doing too well. Unlike something like WarioWare, however, um, I mean, as you can see, where WarioWare had completely separated mini-games, this game is more like the, uh, the different sections are all tied together. Also, the sections we've been getting, um, you don't get the same things every time. There's a lot of uh, random chance here. For example, the river crossing. The way I got the spaceship is I jumped, and I didn't actually come down. I want to see if that happens again. No, I still am coming down. And I landed in the bee's nest again. That will not happen every time. Sometimes you'll land in the middle of the river. But the, uh, one time, the way I unlocked the spaceship is I didn't go down, I just kept going up until I was in orbit, and then I fought a, uh, a satellite. Using my wagon. So you don't get the same scenes every time. There is a good deal of chance in what you end up getting. Which, of course, makes things interesting, shakes things up. All right, that's the end of it. So that's Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Uh, probably end up trying out the full game because this was... I like this. It's fun. Uh, it's entertaining. And even though, you know, graphics, the gameplay are all very, um, very minimal, very uh, simple, uh, it, it sort of pulls it all together and makes something that's greater than the sum of its parts. Uh, so I enjoyed it. That's Super Amazing Wagon Adventure.